So now I'm standing here where this is very typical. It's getting more difficult to move. What I have here is I have all of the extra antennas removed. This is a straight super sensor. At this moment in time, in order to relieve myself from the cables, I put it just simply around my neck here so I have more freedom here, nothing to get caught up here in the trees, in the grass, in the weeds that are here. And I've selected the 3D ground scan. I'm gonna come back into here. I have my automatic mode, I have my manual mode. Manual mode makes it really efficient. I can then, I'm ready to start. Everything in one screen. I make sure my arrow's going in the right direction. I'm looking ahead of me to see where I'm going. I'm gonna push the button. That takes the first measurement. On the button itself here on the dial, I'm gonna move forward and make sure my antenna is straight. I'm gonna push the button. And as I push the button, it's going to start registering in all of the readings. I'm going to take my time, attempt to do it right the first time, because I have a very simple philosophy, one time right, and you don't have to repeat yourself. Of course, with your scans here, you're going to be doing three scans. You have two of the original scans and one control scan. And the control scan is really, really important. Actually, they're all really important. At the end of this first line, I'm gonna push this button. That's gonna complete the first line. Now I'm gonna go back, come over here, come back to my starting point. I'm going to move to the left and I'm gonna continue my next line. Now I'm gonna to move to the left. And as I see right in front of me, I have a tree, so I'm gonna move a little bit further off. And then I'm gonna do the same procedure again. And as I do this procedure, I can make sure that I am moving safely. And I continue the process. And now, this is where it gets real interesting. I come to the other side of the tree to take my scan because it was in the way. And as you see, again, I'm at my stopping point and then I go back and I do my next line. And that's how it works. Back to my starting point and then I pull my next line. That's it. That's how it works. I'm done. I'm going to push the save button. I'm going to say this run here was probably a little bit shorter. I was probably about nine, uh, maybe 10 meters. And then here we have a width of probably about five meters. Click that, save, and I'm done. I'm ready to go. That's how we're going to do this. This was scan one. And I'm going to repeat the scan, do it again, exactly the same. That'll be scan number two. Then I'm gonna come at a different angle, do it again. That'll be scan number three. And this is my control scan. Because two of the scans theoretically are going in this direction and one is gonna go in the other direction. All of the objects, if you rotate them 90 degrees, they will all point the same direction. Works out wonderful and it verifies that what you're scanning is real because real targets don't move.